And a good day to you, sir, madam, whoever you are. So one of the things that uh, comes up and now and then is people asking what, uh, how do I get all these extra bars on my HUD, on my UI? And as you can see, I have none of them. Now there's actually some in there. Um, if you look at the top left, there is a level 300 and the skill points 258. Uh, if you look at the bottom left next to the red and blue bar, you have the temperature, you have your food and water, you have some counters that says three and zero, stuff like that. And then um, it's basically a HUD modlet. And uh, there are a lot of them out there. So I'm going to, this time I'm gonna show how to install one of them. And uh, the one I'm using is the Red Eagle which I think is pretty good because it matches the regular stuff quite well. It's fairly minimalistic. It doesn't have a lot of extra stuff and it's modular. So you can choose which ones you want to have yourself. So uh, I'm going to exit out of the game here and I'm going to show you how to download it, how to install it. And uh, so you can try it out yourself. Okay, you're going to see that I'm here on the 7 days to diecom forums where Red Eagle LXIX has his model collection, explanation, everything. I'm going to leave this uh, link in the description because it's a little bit hard to see where I think where it is here. Uh, this is the URL though. And um, he's got a lot of stuff here. So uh, just to do a quick one, I mean, you can download the whole thing and that's what I would recommend. It's a little bit easier. And it's got some uh, functional things uh, like be able to pick up the curtains and mini blinds, but this is the UI additions. And as you can see, there's various, um, various different ones that sort of apply to the same thing. Like for instance, let's see, Let's see here, if you want to have this one, you can see the skill points. But if you want this one, you guys get to see the skill points and the level. Or you might want to see the zombie kills, or you want to see the zombie kills and deaths, or do you want to see the zombie kills, deaths, and player kills. So there are different ways you can do that. You can pull the ones you want and put in them into your modlet folder or mods folder. So let's assume you take the whole thing and you basically click here. It'll open, it'll ask you to uh, to download it and you just do a download and let me do a direct download. No thanks. And save file and uh, just drop it down here. And that's going to finish and now we have the file. What do you then do is that of course you have to go to your Steam. Right click on the game, properties, local files. Browse local files and you go into the mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, just simply create it with new folder. Make sure it's named mods. You go into it and you take your, let's see this one. So I open this one up and let me go back to the other one. All right. So the one on the right here is the downloaded one, which has all the different ones. The one on the left is the mod folder. And all you do is you pull them in. So let's say you want to have the player stats. You pull that in here and there you have it. So you see, I have a number of them. These are the ones that I've decided to use. Mod Traders is actually not a UI mod. It's a generation mod. And you can see the UI ones always have a UI. And you just uh, pull them in. You, If you want this one, you pull it in. You pull, 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 pull everything that has a UI in there. And of course, you can look at this one to show what it's actually all about. I mean, it has pretty good explanations. And if you just want one specific modlet, you can just take that one as well. I do find it easier to just grab all of them. And uh, that's actually it. You don't need to do anything else. Now, this is for the client. This is on a client. If you want to make this available in the server, let's say you have a dedicated server, you basically just create a mods uh, folder in the server one and you copy them in as well. Simple. If you have a hosted server, same thing. Because UI mods are plain XML, um, it's a plain XML modlets, meaning that they get passed from the server down to the client. If there are additional things like assets, like you see in the firearms, there's got a lot of Unity assets, it does require the the client also have all these assets before it can display it by UI mods doesn't require it's a very easy for server and that's it and then you go back into the game and you have it and that's all there is to it so uh, I'll leave the link in the description go try it out and see which ones you like from these ones and uh, 
you, you can because these are just UI. If you don't like it, you just remove it. If you try a different one, you know it should work. It shouldn't change anything on your game is at all. It's purely cosmetic for the UI. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the Vedic community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.